Hello YouTube, it's Barbara Jean. Um, a couple of things today. Uh, <laughs> I had a very funny dream. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. But uh, my first thing I wanted to talk about was um, yesterday I had a dream about Paul Begley. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to clear that up. Apparently uh, a viewer of mine was having some questions about um, which channels to watch. And apparently she's a viewer of Paul Begley and of my myself. But the Lord, apparently th this is the third time that I've had a dream that answered a question for her. And uh, I'm just going to read that little bit for her from what she said. Um, this is, okay, Barbara, it's three for three. <laughs> so this is the third time I've answered a prayer, you know, through uh, this... Um, dreams I've had. So uh, I just want to read what she says. I was attacked last night and I do not know why. I do not do videos and I, and I keep to myself. The Lord wants me to stay off YouTube. One channel I watch is Paul Begley. I just moved from Oklahoma and I worked at Perkins and served many pancakes. <laughs> exactly my dream about Paul Begley. Um, Oklahoma and the pancakes. So anyway, I guess it answered some of her her questions about, you know, who she should be watching on YouTube. Also, I wanted to read something else from her because I'm not going to tell her her, you know, her, her name. It's, that's between herself. So I just want my, myself and her. I just wanted to read something that she wrote to me. She gave me permission to do so. Um, it's about a couple of things that she said, which I thought were rather interesting. Um... She was talking about how the Lord, in the last little while, has been actually healing her body, which I thought was really amazing and wonderful. So I'm going to give that praise report for her on the YouTube. Um, she said that, um, oh, this is the wrong one. I have to go to a new one. The other, the other letter. She sent me. It was... Okay, here it is. Uh, she was talking about, first let me just give you her praise report. Um, she, says, she said, so many people are getting sick and I seem to be getting healthier. My doctors are shocked, whom I see every month because of the terrible accident that I had that had left me disabled. But yesterday my weight is excellent and my doctor cut my medication for blood pressure in half because it has dropped. I was on 11 different prescription medications in October. Now I'm only on three. And one is, or one is for pain, and I hardly take it. He is very pleased. And the nurses asked me how I got so healthy so fast and looked great and am so happy. Well, I told her. So isn't that wonderful? <laughs> this is amazing. And so happy for her. But anyway, she's been having this dream uh, about the jury. She's been having this dream about a jury box that I thought was kind of important and I asked her if she would put it on YouTube and she said that she wasn't the kind of person to go on YouTube so I said okay so I thought well I'm gonna put this since I already had this three times um, confirmation of dreams that I had that helped her so I guess maybe the Lord was telling me to put her dream on YouTube and it was about a jury box that she went up it was quite a large jury box it had apparently six levels and it just kept going up um, he says now the jury box are either ones he is working on. So she was going up on this level. She was looking for a seat in this jury to pass judgment. And so let me see if I can find out, find out what she said. Uh, so when she got to the top, when she got to the top of this jury box, oh, here it is. It was a huge, huge jury box. I mean, huge. So many rows high, I could not even tell you how high the rows in the jewelry box was. Anyway, it was gold and vivid color, and I was reporting in. Like, so she was reporting for duty. I climbed all the way to the top of the box. It had to have been at least 60 levels up. When I went to check in, they said it was complete, or I was complete. I said this must be a mistake, and of course you know how loving they are. I asked them to make sure that maybe I was in the wrong courtroom. They called another courtroom and said, no, you are complete. So she's complete. So I left. 
So um, I thought that was rather interesting. And she said, um, I think she gave her own interpretation to the, the, the dream. And it has to do with Christians judging each other. And that if you pass the level of judging each other, you pass into love, which is what they they said that she completed her level or she completed, she was full, I guess, of the Holy Spirit and, and love. She didn't need to be passing judgment on anybody. So I believe that's what she was saying about what she felt it meant. And I think that's probably pretty accurate. Um, here it is. Um, I, I, or either once he's working on, is about the jury box, or it is the church judging each other instead of coming together. I've noticed they argue over doctrine and things like that in real life. They believe in him, but are breaking apart his church over silly things. We need to be all in one accord. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, also something about the same measure of judgment you will be used, you use will be used against you. Uh, so she woke up a little frightened by that, but when I, when she came on YouTube, there I was, and so it answered some of her questions. Uh, I'm just going to read a scripture for her, Romans 14, 11. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue confess to God, so that every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge rather this, this, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Okay, so I thought I'd get, get that to you. Also, I want to do one little thing. Um, I wanted to do one other little thing. The uh, the dream I had where this woman uh, had said that that um, the sister in Christ said that she, she you know, <laughs> Oklahoma, she was from Oklahoma, and she served pancakes. I decided i look up the lyrics for Oklahoma. Uh, maybe there's another message there for for us all in, in the um, this dream that I had post just posted and uh, in that maybe the Lord is telling us we're heading for a new land a new state is getting ready to be birthed a new because if you think about Oklahoma it was the movie was about a birthing of a new state they, these people were planting seeds they were planting fruit for a new kingdom a new new home a new state so I'm going to just read that for you because I thought I, it didn't occur to me yesterday to uh, look up the lyrics. So I'm going to read the lyrics to you now. Okay, so this is from Oklahoma. And it starts with uh, kind of a little uh, recitative with um, some people talking about the new things that are coming. It starts, they could pick a better time as that in life. It ain't too early and it ain't too late. Starting as a farmer with a brand new wife, Jesus and his bride. <laughs> Soon they'll be living in a brand new state. Brand new state, brand new state, gonna treat you great. Gonna give you barley, carrots and potatoes, pastures for the cattle, spinach and tomatoes, flowers on the prairie where the June bugs zoom, plenty of air and plenty of room. Plenty of room to swing a rope, plenty of heart and plenty of hope. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain and the waving wheat can sure smell sweet, and the wind's wind comes right behind the rain. Oklahoma, every night my honey lamb and I sit alone and talk and watch a hawk making lazy circles in the sky. We know we belong to the land, heaven, and the land we belong to is grand. And when we say, yo, a yippee yo a yay, <laughs> that means when we rejoice and we're ready for the kingdom, We'll be saying, you're doing fine, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, okay. Anyway, I thought I'd just throw that in. I think that's kind of interesting. Uh, is it another sign? Could be. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to come back in a moment. I have another dream to share. I just had it a few minutes ago, and it was really bizarre, but I'm going to share it with you in a minute. I didn't want this, this video to go too long, so I will talk to you in a minute.